Well, welcome back. The day has come. We are packing um, our stuff and we're getting ready to head out. We don't have much much to pack. Uh, we're going pretty light. Uh, planning to go for at least six days and hopefully we'll be back soon before that. But yeah, we're taking the little camper trailer um, as a secondary plan. We're going to be out sleeping on the mountains in the tent. But if something changes, we are mobile and we have this little camper to stay as a shelter. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, well, we have made to our destination. Belt is here. We do have a camper. And we're about to get on the boat and start hiking. We have about probably before sunset about two hours and we got a little over two miles to go up we'll see how much we'll get today but we'll get there all right stay tuned morning we just got up this is our little tent uh, this is three person but it was barely enough space for two as well our sleepy situation in there two mattresses sleeping bags and all of our gear outside the tent so I don't know how you can fit three people but we woke up pretty early I think uh, we still have quite a bit of time before the sunrise. Probably gonna hop up there uh, and make some coffee. Make some coffee and class. So, yeah, pretty good morning. Not so cold, even though it says it's like 37 degrees outside. Got really warm first light jacket, pocket pants, and lots of layers. So, should be a great day. Tomorrow is the opening season, and last night we've seen a lot of deer. So, I'm hoping it's gonna be the same thing this morning, and we will find some bucks. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, beautiful country. Praise the Lord. Thank you guys. Hopefully we'll find bucks. Yeah, that's a, that's a heavy packs we got. But hopefully we'll be coming back with heavier ones and antlers instead of our guns on the top of them. All right. Welcome to the deer camp. That's our tent for the next couple days and hopefully not a long days. And we will be able to shoot our bucks hopefully tomorrow morning. But real quick, this is what I'm gonna be using for this for 
this one. It's a CV8 Cascade, six, five feet more. Um, I picked up this right before the hunt. Gem pack, some filler in pack. It's pretty light, it's only 11 ounces. And then uh, on top I'm using Arkin. Um, I forgot the name of this actually. I think it's EPL4 or something like that. It's uh, 6x24 and 50. Pretty cool gun. Um, bipod is MDT. Very cool. Uh, bipods. Super easy. Not super light, but it is pretty cool to work with them and then you can really easily detach them. So what I did before on our on our way up is I would put them in the backpack and then when we're stationary and so I would just put them up just like that and yeah a homemade cheek rest um, looks pretty great pretty cool gun so hopefully I'll get to break it in tomorrow alright well stay tuned and uh, we'll see how it's going to go Say special thanks to my wife and my kids. I love them. There's, I can't express. <sighs> He's pregnant. <laughs> this is the craziest. I've been on the most rewarding one. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. It is Saturday, the opening day, and it is, uh, it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. The first light was at 6.40, and uh, we got discouraged because we spotted a bike la buck last night, and uh, we couldn't tell if he was legal, but he was a mile away. And then we got discouraged because this morning we got up and there was hunters all around. In this spot we were sitting, the hunters walked straight in front of us at 100 yards. Um, so we got discouraged. But we kept on praying and kept on going and looking. We came to this spot where we technically saw the buck last night. Uh, and then we walked higher. And then we again got discouraged there was a hunter just 200 yards above us we don't want to you know bust his spot so we decided to back up and uh, and then my friend ian thank you thank you dude you're you're something something special but 
he spotted a doe on the hill. And so I like told him, let's just sit down and just watch her. And the uh, thing is, last night there was this buck bedded down, and then a doe came from this same hill, picked him up, and they went somewhere. So we're sitting and we're waiting, and then we come to this point where I cross this doe, and then I see a, a head with antlers right behind her. He was just peeking over the ridge. So I get ready, and I can definitely tell he's a three by three, his legal buck. So I get on my rifle, I dial in 325 yards, and thank the Lord, he decides to come up full, full body, quartering to me, and uh, I put one shot, and I saw him jump up, and I knew he was hit, and then I loaded, and then I see him limping, so I put another one, and I don't know if the second one I missed, I haven't seen the buddy yet, but, uh, yeah, and then he went over the ridge, and I did not see him. And that exact moment, when this buck walked out, two other legal bucks walk up the ridge, and my buddy Ian decided to, you know, take a shot at him. But the bucks were circling around and they were standing in front of each other and there was no clear shot and then they just walked down. So he's looking for them. Hopefully we'll get another buck down today. But here it is. He is beautiful. He is. All that I came for here. I'm not looking for a trophy. This is the rifle I just broke in with this buck. And I'm really grateful for the buck. This was a lot of work today. This is something we have been praying for. And we can't understand how how it all happened yet. But thanks to our families. If not for them, we wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. It's a good looking buck. And we got a lot of work to do ahead of us. We have today's gonna peak at 70 degrees, and we have a boat down there that is about two miles walk from here. But we have almost a mile walk back to our camp to pack up. Now, I think we're just gonna get the meat going, maybe put in the shade, go get our stuff packed up, and uh, head down. We'll see. This thing's covered in bone, marrow, and all sorts of crap. Do you know how old this freaking knife is? My dad bought this back in the 70s. For some reason, I kept hearing footsteps everywhere. I mean, I consider this a lot because this was pulled when we left, and it's three liters Dude, right you now. you're like a freaking camel. How the heck? Let's wait for you to carry. <laughs> exactly what I <I'm> offered. <laughs> All right, well, we are packing down. Beautiful buck. It may look like we're dying. Not yet. We're good. We got just down the hill into our boat. 
and regroup figure out another buck so we got still a lot of work ahead of us <sighs> gotta take care of me yeah what do you think i think god is good and we're all going downhill so it shouldn't be that bad yeah it's uh plus we're on a road yeah. very good We're looking for bucks. We got one more tag. Hopefully, we'll find it. Good morning, it's another day. We have glass some deer yesterday, a little over 10. No, no more bucks, um, but we kind of had a general idea what to do next. So we're gonna, we got up early this morning and gonna hike up. And hopefully that's gonna pay off tonight, today. So stay tuned. So far, we've seen three, three, maybe about ten deer, no bucks. We've seen about fourteen turkeys and uh, three hunters and the truck. So yeah, not yet. We're not done yet. Made it back to the camp, no bucks, but we'll keep trying. There's a little place. It's good for a couple days.
country I've never done before and I'm looking for more trips like that. I'm happy, I'm super happy. Um, the getting a buck in Washington on an opening day is something I probably have never dreamed of. Uh, we prayed a lot about it and uh, we have received what we've asked for. So really glad I was able to make this trip. I'm really glad Ian was there to help me out and uh, his support. He's a cool friend. If you're watching it, thank you. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this video and uh, like, share, whatever. Just It's a, it's a journey that I'm doing it with, uh, on my own sometimes and most of the times with my friends and uh